All right, so we are going to be looking at the male reproductive system, after which we look at the female reproductive system. So let's start from this. So the male reproductive system have different parts, but we have nine major parts of the male reproductive system. So we are going to be looking at them one after the other and their functions. Because what you see in exam is basically the functions of the different parts of the male reproductive system. So the first one I have here is the testes. Please take note that testes like this, the one with ES is plural, right? Why if it is like this? This is what? Singular. All right. So now the testes is actually an over-shaped structure. Just like the egg we just finished looking at. And all male mammals have two of it. Two of it. And we said the test is located where? In the scrotal sacs, right? And the scrotal sacs, what forms the word? The scrotum. The scrotum. Now, the function of this test is, is what? What's the function of the test is? Production of sperm and what? And what? Testosterone. You know, you know that testosterone is produced in the gonad. And the gonad for me is what? Testis. So testis. Testosterone is also produced in the testis. And it is the testosterone that is involved in giving the male secondary sexual characters. So basically, the testis is involved in the production of sperm. But there's a specific part of the testis that produces sperm. We'll look at that. And it also produces hormone, testosterone. Now, the next part of the male reproductive system is seminiferous tubule. And please take note, the function of the seminiferous tubule is to do what? Produce sperm. Now, this seminiferous tubule is still found in the testes. And this is a specific region, the specific part of the testes where the sperm is produced. Do we understand? So if you are asking an exam, which part of the male reproductive system produces sperm, what will you say? Seminiferous tubule. Seminiferous tubule. So this is where sperm is produced. Now, as the sperm is produced, the sperm that is produced is immature or immature? Yeah. Immature. It's not mature yet. That immature sperm will be stored where? In the epididymis. So the epididymis is where the immature sperm is stored until it matures. So epididymis stores sperm, is it permanently? Or temporarily? Yeah. Temporarily, right? Until the, the, the sperm matures. Then we have the next one here, vast difference or sperm duct. Please in biology, anytime you hear duct, duct is like a tube, it's like a passage. So the vast difference, or you call it sperm duct, connects the epididymis to the what? Seminal vesicle, right? It's just like a tube connecting the epididymis to the seminal vesicle. And note that the epididymis, immature sperm is stored there, right? Then until it matures. When it matures now, it will now move from the epididymis to the way seminal vesicle through where vas deferens. So this is like a tube where epididymis uh, sperm travels so, through to the seminal vesicle. So where is sperm stored temporarily? Where is uh, sperm stored permanently until ejaculation? Seminal vesicle. Seminal vesicle. So it is stored here. Where is sperm produced? Seminiferous tubule. Please don't confuse them. It's always coming out in the exam. After I explain this, we'll look at past question. So you see it live. So seminal vesicle. And as we used to do, I'll see the I'll see take left hand row. One one. You'll be answering one after the other. Okay, I'll I'll take right hand row now. Alright, so seminal vesicle, sperms are stored permanently there, right? Until they are ejaculated. Next thing is the prostate gland. And we said, what's the function of this prostate gland? What's the function of the prostate gland? It produces what? Okay, it produces parts of the seminal fluid. And what's the function? Activation of what? Sperm, right? Now, this seminal vesicle, apart from storing the sperm, does it also produce seminal fluid? Yes. 
it also produces seminal flu. The sperm cell need energy. The sperm need food. If not, the sperm will die. <laughs> so the seminal fluid now in this seminal vesicle contains what? Fructose contains fructose, and it is the fructose that sugar fructose that is giving the sperm what energy. Good. Now the prostate gland also produces part of the seminal fluid that activates the sperm. If you go to the corpus gland now, the corpus gland still produces what? Seminal fluid. And the seminal fluid produced by the corpus gland is a fluid that when released into now, the female reproductive system medium is always acidic, very acidic. And you know, in pH scale, we have 0 to 7 to 14, right? Anything below 7 years is acidic, right? Meaning the lower the pH, the more acidic is becoming, is it not? The higher the pH, the more basic is becoming. So the pH of the female reproductive medium is very low very acidic so now if sperm travels to the female reproductive medium that sperm will be killed because it is acidic so now what now happens is the corpus gland here now produces seminal fluid that will help to increase the ph so this corpus gland now produces seminal fluid that is released into the female with the sperm so that this seminal fluid release now will now increase the ph of that female reproductive medium so that the sperm will not be killed. Because if it's not released, the sperm will be killed. Understood? Next, the urethra. Now, the urethra serves uro, urinogenital function. Urino is talking about urine, right? The urethra is like the passage where urine passes from. If you, if you draw your in a urinary system, no, urine is produced where? In the kidney, right? Functional part of the kidney called nephron. Now, if you draw this, you know, this is the kidney, this is the ureter. And this is the bladder, right? And this is the ureter. So, this is the ureter. Now, the ureter serves urinogenital function. How? It is the urethra, it is through the urethra that urine is expelled. And it is through the urethra, genital now, it is through the urethra that sperm is released into the female. So you can see that it's serving both excretion purpose, removal of urine, and genital purpose, reproductive purpose, removal of sperm. It's always coming out in the exam, which of these serves urinogenital function? The answer is what? And you've seen why? Because it's involved in removal of urine and removal of what? Sperm. That is that. Then the penis here serves as, we said, inter what? Inter what? Inter. Is this what I gave you? I'm not saying like inter house, but. What does it mean? What When you say intermittent, what does it mean? You say spongy, no. And we know it's spongy. But what does it mean? This is the copulating device. This copulating device. Now, please take notes. The sperm is not released through this. The sperm is released through this, right? Through the urethra. But this is a copulating device bringing the male and the female together. That's what it's doing there. Urine is passing through the urethra. In fact, the urethra extends through the penis. Do we get? But the urinogenital, the urinogenital organ there is the urethra. Do we get that? So basically, these are the nine functional parts of the male reproductive system. We are going to take the female reproductive system 